What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I wanna to talk about payments. Um, how to make uh, like a split payments and or how to take a deposit from a customer. Um, uh, let's check it out. So we have an estimate right here. Once you authorize the estimate, it becomes an invoice. And once it, once it becomes an invoice, you can apply payments or you can pay in full. Um, we are gonna add the mileage real quick. And when we click on pay invoice, um, so notice the total for this invoice is 636 and 15 cents. We're gonna click on pay. Under new payment amount, it fills it automatically, but that doesn't mean that you can go from, you, you can go by that. What I mean by that, if, if somebody wanna split the payment, they wanna pay $100 cash and the rest credit card, how do you do that? So once you click on pay invoice, under new payment, just click on that and say, let's pay $100 first on cash. Click that and pay. And you can print it or just close it. And now notice the payment, there's a payment. If we click on payment, there's a payment of $100. Uh, now I wanna pay the rest on credit card. We're gonna click on pay invoice and then credit card. In this case, it's gonna go through the machine. So square terminal, and then you pay the rest. So that's how you split the, the payment. You can split the payment any way you want. You can click on pay invoice and pay the resting check if you want and then pay. So the payment actually has improved so, 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 so much. Um, let's, let's give another example. Let me just select a customer. So let's talk about deposit. How do you do a deposit? So let's just um, get some part from, uh, from Fisher. And let's search for AC compressor. And let's say we're gonna add this one. Let's add the labor too, if he has the labor. I don't have the labor. All right, just click on transfer. AC. Compressor replace three hours add. All right, so this is an estimate, and assume that this uh, that customer want to make a hundred dollar deposit on this one. Uh, so well, the first thing, obviously, we're gonna convert to an invoice, uh, authorize it first, and we're gonna click on pay invoice. Make sure you add the mileage, and we're just gonna type in hundred dollar, and he pays it in cash. And now you can print it for the customer and it's gonna show that he made a payment for $100 and the balance due is right right there. If you, let's say you said, he called you back and he said, hey, can you do an all change on the card? Just click on basic all change and you, you just need to authorize the additional cost and say all change and click authorize. And when he's ready to check out, you can click on make a payment and let's say he paid by check the rest click on pay and it's done. If we click on under payments right here, we can see that the customer made two payments. Uh, first one was deposit $100 and then he paid the rest with a check. Um, so you can split the, the payments multiple times. Let's make a one more example. And let's just, I'm gonna use the can job, just add tires. So what if this customer wanna make um, three, three split or three payments? So we're gonna click on authorize again, pay invoice, remember to add all the mileage. And let's say you wanna pick $20, cash, pay. And so payments, $20, balance due, three, four, three. Another payment, another $45, cash, payment 65 he made two payments and when you go up here it's gonna always get under ready for checkout it's gonna say partially paid and that's how much he he uh, he that's that's his balance due. that's his total and that's his balance due if we click on it we can make another payment for fifty dollars and check so which is really cool so you can make as many payments as you want that's the whole point you can split the payment in any ways you want you will get run into situation where customers want to pay on cash with credit to two credit cards um whatever the case is you can do so 
and as many as you want before in the, in the fourth generation you could not do so in the fifth generation you can anyway that's it for today i appreciate you guys watching until next time thanks